What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips JQuery tutorial. So this is my fifth tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the attribute selector in jQuery. So before proceeding with this video, you can watch my previous tutorial that is part fourth of this video series. In that video, I have explained about the element selector in jQuery. So this video in continuation with part four, so don't forget to watch that. Okay, so in the previous two tutorial, I have just discussed about what are selectors and I have already covered the ID selector and class selector in part three of this video series and element selector in part four. And now I am just uh, discussing about the attribute selector. Okay, so here you can find the example of attribute selector. So suppose you want to se select that element which consists any title. So you can just do like this in the bracket you can just write title and you, uh, you will be able to select that element okay and let's suppose if you want to select only div element consisting the title attribute so you can do like that okay and uh, you can also use the attribute like href so you can select that anchor which consists href attribute okay and uh, uniquely if you want to select those those href which consist something like uh, example.com so in this way you can just select it so we will just try all this example practically so let's move to the visual studio and here let's say in the previous tutorial we have just uh, discussed about the element selector let's say we have just uh, selected the element by its element name so here you can see the output okay now we will try to select that element with the attribute okay so instead of id i'm just uh, it, it doesn't depend on the id also so instead of id i'm just taking the title okay so let's say title is div1 okay and I'm copying that and just pasting here div1 and let's make it div2 and instead of button I'm just taking an anchor with href attribute and let's say attribute techno tips tutorial dot block spot dot com okay so this is my title let's say uh, this is href attribute and uh, here let's say uh, the title has been given to this and also give title to this this diff okay so let's make it div 3 okay and here this is uh, not I'm not touching it okay now let's comment all this control KC okay and just copy one so here I'm just uh, getting the title attributes so title attribute okay so I'm the selecting all the element by its attribute name okay so this div has title this div has title this div has title and let's take another div which does not consist any title and let's make the style let's copy it okay let's div 4 let's say it's a div 4 okay now let's run this okay so see the div 4 does not have uh, the CSS property applied okay so the div which have uh, title attribute see the div 3 has title let's say div 2 div 1 and this is div 3 and it doesn't have title if you give any title to this then it will also be selected let's say title equal to div 4 
now reload this okay so this is also uh, got selected and just apply copy this and paste it here okay so that it looks separate okay and now I'm just trying some different case and just make it a span instead of div okay now a span has some title let's say a span 1 and let's say another span let's say title 2 okay and make it a span 2 span 1 okay now refresh it so see both span also got selected now here I just want only a span attribute which consists this title attribute see a span element which consists the title attribute will be will got the border okay and if you replace it with div let's say reload it see only div element got the border okay and the next thing is that uh, just copy that and paste here just make it red and instead of title I am just using red okay so here I have just taken the href attributes so just okay now here I am just looking here and inside this just taken an anchor okay now refresh it see this is href okay and consisting the div on title but I have just applied on only this the attribute the anchor consisting the href attribute so it has got the red border okay and uh, now let's say I have an anchor one and inside the this one let's make it href and also title give it title my link okay so it has title and it doesn't have any title okay and let's say I just want to give both so let's it has both attribute href and the title also so let's see the preference goes to the second one okay that is the my link title because this anchor will have the title attribute also and the href attribute also okay now if you put a comma between this then you will have your both see the the uh, those element which consist title as well uh, or or href element so that's why my href also got the border see uh, my two anchor got the uh, got the border and rest element which consists the title okay and here I'll see anchor see in this way also I can just define say anchor which consists the title anchor which consists the title has got the uh, ha has been selected so anchor which consists the title will be selected instead of href okay and one second condition is href see if I remove the href from here let's see I'm just removing it from here so this is also anchor and a href let's see the preference goes to the second one because it has href attribute okay and 
href let's say come back and here I am just writing google.com okay and I'm just copying href equal to this okay so a href equal to equal to google.com and here I have a href let's see which one get the preference so the first one is getting the preference okay because it's just matching this attribute at google.com so it's been selected okay so this is got yeah and put a comma and if you want to put an condition let's say title then you can do that and, and this is the or condition okay so in this way you can select the attribute okay and uh, let's say another example diff diff element with title attribute and with table attribute let's say we'll get the okay let's try so see this this div element will will be selected because it's got the got this title okay let's copy this and let's paste it here and let's remove this title okay and let's check it out see the first one is selected because it got the title div3 but it it doesn't have any title so that's why it's not get selected okay so I hope you got the concept and if you have any problem then you can just do the comment uh, into the comment section and thank you very much for watching this video and if you like it then give a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share this video among your friend uh, and in the next tutorial we will be uh, we may be discussing about uh, input type equal to button or I can just uh, uh, you can also try by yourself this example okay so there are many selectors uh, there are many way to selecting the uh, dome elements so you can try yourself I think this is enough and uh, see if if we uh, go into the uh, if we want to go into the details then we will be discussing uh, many more example so that's it for today have a great day